Action. Okay. So, do you want an intro? Okay. Shall I so, intro? what was the... I don't know whether Premise. intro or not. Okay, thinking, okay. So, basically, two, two weeks back, myself and Bloodfire, we had a, a discussion concerning uh, Jesus in the Quran and the, the Ruh and with regards to uh, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, do you want to continue, bro? We, we basically had a discussion and we concluded it. It was getting a bit, time was getting on. We concluded it and agreed to right. debate afterwards. My man was maybe sick next, last week, sorry. Yeah, yeah, so, well, I was actually. Yeah, so I wasn't trolling him or nothing like that, you know. I like to bring to the part, this is, this is something that I'd like to uh, remind myself as well as the other brothers, the other Muslims that come here, is that, for example, Bloodfire here, he's, he's a, his, his creed, his creed is different to mine. He's a Christian. I'm a Muslim, but that doesn't mean that I have to take him as a hostile. I don't have to come here and abuse him because he has a different deen to me. You see it? We can be respectful. We can, we can agree to differ. We can be respectful in our, our, our discussions. And hopefully, we can, uh, we can get somewhere in this discussion, but ibn Allah ta'ala. Um, Bloodfire, I'll let you start, bro. Like, so, what you're, so what do you want me to start with? What I, what I said... Basically, what, what, you're, what you, 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 you're... Okay, my, like so you're my argument was about the words of, of God, or the word of Allah, or the Kalimatu Allah, according to chapter 4, 171. So let me just read it off for you. Um, Yeah, yeah, if you don't sorry, mind with the smoke, please, thank you. Alright, so it says here, and this is Yusuf Ali's translation, I don't know whether you accept that one. O people of the book, commit no excess in your religion, nor save Allah aught but the truth. Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger, no more than has been added, by the way, a messenger of Allah, and his words, Kalimatu Allah, which he bestowed on Mary and his spirit, by a rule Kudus, by a rule Minhu, a spirit proceeding from him, so sent from Allah, cast it down from Allah. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Say not Trinity, Trinity the sis, it will be better for you. Allah is one Allah, glory be to him, far exalted, as above having a son. To him belong all things in the heaven and on the earth, and enough is Allah as the disposal of this. Now my argument was that Allah is called, no, no, Jesus, sorry, or Isa ibn al-Marim is called the word of Allah, or Kalimatu Allah, right? Whilst it does state at first, say not Trinity, nothing else is claimed, right? It, it, it does say God doesn't have a son, I've got you that. But this verse is clearly stating that Jesus Christ is the word. Now, now God is an uncreated being. He's not created. So therefore, it, it naturally follows that the word of God is uncreated. So therefore, I posit that Jesus Christ himself is uncreated according to this verse. Go on. Okay. So the verse that was just quoted, where um, Blood Pahi mentioned that the, the, the Jesus, it, it clearly, like the verse itself, it refutes the claim that Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, was more than a messenger of God. Why? Allah Ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا الْمَسِيحُ Isa بَنَ Maryam رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِنَّمَا in Arabic is only, it means, it's restrictive, it means he's only. إِنَّمَا Isa 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 ibn Maryam Rasulullah. So he was only, Isa ibn Maryam was only a messenger of Allah. And with regards to the word uh, like kalima, kalimatuh, if you, say, if you say, as I mentioned previously, in Arabic you have the mutaf and the mutaf ilay, which you can understand as, if you translate into English, the possessed and the possessor. So if, for example, you say, Ruhallahi, the soul of Allah, the soul, like an example I gave previously, if you say kitab, uh, kitab, kitabu Bilal, means the book of Bilal, the book possessed by Bilal. And with regards to proceeding, proceeding from Allah Ta'ala, like if I say, for example, I, 
if you, if you say like a, a letter from me in the Arabic language, Risala uh, min Kairon, for example, it does not mean that that letter comes from me, from my physical self. Obviously, when you when you if somebody asks you where's that letter, where did you receive that letter, you say min Kairon, for example. That doesn't mean it's from me. Obviously, it's been sent by me. It's been sent from me. It's been sent to you from me. It doesn't mean it proceeds from my body, from myself. Please, please. Okay, so the, the argument was that the word Bayruh Minhu does not mean proceeding from Allah. But, but let's be consistent with the Quran. Let's not go outside of the Quran and make up terms to add to the Quran. What does, what does Allah, how is Jesus Christ brought forth in Samaria? What does this say? It says here in Surah 66, 12. Let me get out for you. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, the word uses barge heart, by the way, it's very graphic, a graphic word. And we breathed into her body of our spirits, right? The Bayruk Minhu, or Ruh, and she testified the truth of the words of her Lord. So it's clear, the action used here, the word used is breathe. It's clear that the spirit proceeds from Allah. It's not just an object of Allah, but no, it proceeds from Allah. The same with the words Kalimat U Allah. The possessive is used. Yeah? So the Kalimat to Allah is the word of Allah, possessive. It's, it's not just like, oh, this is the camel of Allah, but the camel is separate. No. Word is a possessive, it's an attribute. Therefore, that word is an attribute, therefore, it's the word of God. Right? But the word of the word of God has to be uncreated because Allah is uncreated. You cannot escape this by simply stating that the spirit proceeds from, from Allah, but it's not but it's not Allah. Nor can you change the fact that the word used by Ruh Minhu, meaning passed it down from Allah, and as we just read in Surah 6612, Allah read the spirit into Mary's father. This is a possessive action. He's breathing his attribute into our law according to the Quran. Let's not go outside of it. Go on. Now with regards to Maryam and how the, the uh, she became pregnant, by the way Muslims we believe as Christians, perhaps not all of them in this day and age, that Isa salam was born from miraculous birth and that he had a mother and he had no father. And when it came to um, the spirit that was uh, placed within Maryam, it was not the spirit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it was a created soul. A soul created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not the soul of Allah, which was taken by Jibreel alayhi salam, the angel who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, um, charged with the, rev uh, the revelation. And when it came to the um, concept, when it came to, to Isa alayhi salam, him being uh, formed within Maryam, Mary, uh, Jibreel alayhi salam, uh, Gabriel, uh, peace be upon him, he was, he possessed, he was given the soul of, which was to be Jesus, and he went to Mary, and the soul was blown into her, and she uh, conceived, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, uh, peace be upon him. So it wasn't Allah's soul, that was breathed, and it doesn't say in the Quran that Allah breathed into her. Rather, Jibreel alayhi salam went with the soul, the soul of Isa. He, he possessed it, it was given to him, and he, it was cast within Maryam. So it wasn't the soul, it doesn't say that the soul of Allah or Allah breathed in the Quran, in, in the Quran. it does not say that Allah breathed his soul into Mary. Rather, um, Gabriel, uh, Jibreel, he, was, uh, he, he possessed the soul, he was given the soul, and it was breathed into Mary. So the word, the word soul in Arabic is nafs. It's not the word used here. The word used here is ruh. And, and you'd have to show me, where is the ruh referred to as Jibril in the Quran? I have nowhere to find it. It's not there. In fact, when the, when the term you, ruh is used, or ruh is used in the Quran, it's used in Surah 1785. And in Surah 1785, it clearly says that nobody knows what the ruh is. So I don't know how you know what the ruh is, but, but Muhammad, or oh, no, but the, 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 the Quran, not what the law is, or the spirit is. Right. Okay. With regards to chapter 17, verse 85, which was referred to here, Surah Al-Isra, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Yes, Alunaka, Anir Ruh, 
and they ask you about the soul. This ayah here was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May blessings and peace be peace be upon him. When the Jews of uh, when the Jews approached him and they asked him concerning the punishment of the soul. So this uh, ayah was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. May blessings and peace be upon him concerning a question which the Jews asked him concerning punishment concerning the punishment of the soul so the, this, this was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad and he, recite, he recited the verse which was mentioned by respect to blood fire um, uh, to the Jews at the time so it's, it's not a case of uh, we don't know anything about the Ruh of Isa, Jesus rather it's, it's a, a matter which we, like the, 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 the soul, the human beings have been given little knowledge concerning that. Okay, so as I've said before, the word used for soul is nas. It is nas. It is not raw. Right? The raw mentioned in 1795, so, sorry, sorry, 85, sorry. Right? It's, it says this, they ask the concerning the spirit of inspiration. Say the spirit coming by the command of our Lord, knowledge is only in little that is communicated to you. Now, nowhere in the Quran, you mentioned Jabril as being that same spirit or ruler in the Quran. Nowhere in the Quran does it state explicitly that, that the spirit or the rule is Jabril. You'd have to find that. Nowhere is that in the Quran. For, for example, Surah 2, verse 253, for example. Literally mentions the rule, the viral kudus, or the Holy Spirit. It doesn't mention Jibril. So now I want you to show me where in the Quran that spirit is Jibril. Okay. So in the same chapter that was just mentioned, we mentioned uh, Surah Al Baqarah, the second chapter of the Quran. Um, the ayah was mentioned, you said 253. Um, Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran concerning Gabriel, Jibril, Jibril alayhi salam. Uh, actually, on, on, on top of that, he mentions that Jesus, Isa, was supported by a uh, first uh, uh, blood fire mentioned previously, the Ruh Qudus, which may be seen as translated as the the, the Holy Spirit. Um, if you if this this here, the Ruh Qudus is Jibril alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa taala mentions in Surah Al-Baqarah, as he mentioned previously, that he was uh, supported. He was. Um, supported by the Ruh Qudus, given clear uh, evidences. So Jibreel alayhi salam is mentioned here. Also in uh, Surah al, Surat al -Qad, um, towards the end of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, he mentions when talking about uh, Laylat al Qadr, which is, the la in, it is, it is found in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Um, so in this in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, informs the uh, informs us in the Quran So the angels they descend on Laylat al Qadr Warruh Warruh the Ruh Mentioned here is Jibreel alayhi salam, Gabriel. So there's an evidence, there's two evidence I've provided that Gabriel, Jibreel alayhi salam, is mentioned, well I've mentioned two instances perhaps there are further uh, uh, evidences, uh, proofs that he is existent uh, okay, within so the Quran. proof that the rule is not the angel. Because what does it say in chapter 16 verse 2 of the Quran, this is big, right, it says here, he sendeth down the angels with the spirit of his command. On, on, uh